Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for Robot Spirit or Robot Damashi. We have the Gundam Kimaris from the Iron-Blooded Orphans Gundam series. Now, this is another one of those that doesn't get much attention and actually went on clearance. I got mine through Amazon. You can probably get them quite cheap, half the price now or something. Uh, just because, it, yeah, it's there's no demand on <laughs> it. Um, the problem with this is that they just made him on the, the space version of the Gundam Kimaris without the trooper. Uh, if you've seen the trooper version, basically that's when they, uh, they went down to Earth. Um, or was it Mars? Well, in the planet, <laughs> in the planet where or in the ground, the ground type basically, the trooper. Uh, this one basically opens up and he kind of turns into kind of like a centaur, but not quite. Uh, but th that looks a lot cooler, and definitely people will go for that as opposed to this one. Not only that, um, if you have the high grade, it has the booster on it. This one doesn't. It just you just get the uh, dinky backpack. So hence why not a lot of people are too keen to have this. Anyways, got mine. Here we go. And let's take a look. Alright, so we have the Gundam Kimaris here. At first glance, the head. What's up with that head? It's kind of weird looking. It's kind of like a cone shape. It does kind of remind me of that though. Oh, it took me a little while to appreciate the design of that. And if you've seen it in action, then that's kind of... <laughs> the more you appreciate it. But this one, it does have that weird shape. I'm not sure if it has sensors on that or whatnot. Uh, at least a camera on the back side is painted. But yeah, definitely it's a bit weird looking. Then you have your shoulder binder here. You got some thrusters. Uh, very in uh, interesting design you know, for the rest of the body. But you know, nonetheless, uh, I, I still think it's really cool. So I've got painted the triangles here, which is cool. Yep. Uh, going over the articulation, uh, the neck is fairly decent. I mean, he can look down definitely, look side to side. Unfortunately, he cannot look up as much because it's hitting the back side here. Um, another thing, uh, this V-fin here, it's small, but it's the hard plastic. So careful, it, there is still a possibility you might bump on it and break it. You know, for the most part, uh, I haven't had issues with that, only with my Zeta, <laughs> unfortunately. But yeah. Moving on, you got the shoulder armor here. It's on a ball joint, and I believe uh, this thing even rotates. Yep, um, but uh, yeah, fairly good articulation there. Uh, this is on a hinge, so it can move up. Uh, this is also in a hinge here, so that's good. You got your bicep swivel, you got your elbow bend, which is fairly good. Uh, it's not too bad on the other side. Yeah, it's not too bad, but there we go. Now for the torso, kind of like the Barbatos, you get the really thin uh, waist joint. <laughs> uh, you have the swivel, uh, fairly good, nothing really gets in the way. Uh, moving on, you got your front skirt. Front skirt is not attached in the middle, which it typically does. It's actually attached on to the front. You see a uh, ball joint right there, which I believe uh, this is a better design. You got your side skirt as well, attached on a ball joint. So you get a really good movement, you know, depending on where you want the waist is. You get tie swivel right there, really nice. The back skirt is usually fixed, but it's an angle, so it gives you a little bit more space. I mean, even here, there's a design there. Here, you can pop this out, and uh, you can stash away the sword. I think I can't remember if it was like this, but you know, either way, you can just attach it there, which is quite nice. All right, so that's that uh, knee bend. Here we go. It does kind of seems like it's collapsing. You can see this thing here. There's like a pest in there, but uh, it does collapse, and you got that nice bend. So I think that's a really cool gimmick that they have for that. And. Here comes the f <laughs> the fun part. This does open up. Uh, it's kind of like the signature design for Kimaris. And you got your veneers or thrusters on the other side to give him more 
I find it a little odd that they would have it on the other side. I want to just put it outside. But that's there. It's kind of weird. But it does go along with the design for the trooper. Where it opens up. And that kind of makes him like a hover tank or something of that sort. Uh, you got your uh, jointed uh, ankles here. Uh, there is a pistol on the back side, but I think it's not connected anywhere. But uh, it does give you the illusion that there is a piston on the back side. Uh, you got your heel and or ankle articulation. Um, I think that's pretty much it in terms of articulation. So again, uh, this thing it's kind of odd having that. <laughs> All right, so anyways, uh, that's that. Uh, going over the accessories, uh, let's see here. For the hands, you have the closed fist. Otherwise, uh, we have this open hand here, and you get a pair of that. Uh, my, the other one is somewhere in here. I gotta look for it. It's somewhere in my desk. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, <clears throat> you have one to hold the weapon. But uh, before I get to that part, um, there is something that I did differently on this one. I did modify because I want that uh, booster on the back. And let's go over that. Alright, so luckily there is a kit. The high grade 144 skill, mobile suit, option set number 4, and with a union mobile worker. So there is an add-on kit. You don't have to buy an actual high grade uh, Kimaris to salvage that backpack right there. Um, great thing that they have this mini kit. Yep. So this one I did get from Tatsu. <laughs> and for this reason. So uh, you can use this. Unfortunately, it's not a direct uh, connection. And uh, let me show that. So on the back here, I actually did it already. So it's kind of hard to show here, but uh, just bear with me. Uh, what I did is, I added magnets. And the reason for this is just makes it, uh, if I want to put that back, and it does have articulation there, which still has. Uh, there are two pegs here and two pegs here. The problem with uh, using this, this one is actually a little uh, further apart. Uh, it's all, way, all the way to the edge. That was the issue with this one. So it's not a direct uh, connection. Otherwise, it would have worked. Yep. And uh, basically, that's what I did. I basically trim off the pegs. Same thing well with uh, what's already there. Trim it off and added magnets. Um, again, with magnets, um, I'm using a neodymium magnet. magnets. So they're disc magnets with 3mm in uh, in diameter and about 1.5mm in height. Um, and I've been using these magnets uh, for a lot of my uh, mods. It's very handy. So now, I also added a third magnet just for support, just kind of give it uh, a little bit more grip there. So I can just attach it like so. Um, definitely, I still need to work on this booster. Um, and it has some articulation here and there. Really nice uh, booster. Obviously, if I try to move here, it's going to pop off of, because of the force I'm exerting on it. But um, it will hold. The magnet will hold that booster. I just have to position it the way I wanted to and place it on but that will hold it I, think I should uh, align it properly here but uh, yeah and that way whether I want to have this booster on and playing around with it or you lose the booster you know you just have this regular one there we go easy swap and I highly recommend if you want to do this mod um, use magnets some people, what have they done is um, they kept uh, these uh, pegs here, but for here uh, they trim it out and put some like rods. Uh, that way it'll fit here more. You can do that option as well, but uh, it's it's really up to you how you want it. But again, with magnets, it just pegs in there quite nicely. So with that, uh, let me put this on. Uh, for the base, there is an uh, attachment. We're going to put it here. And there we go. Alright, actually, let me go over this uh, effect also. So, you can take this out. 
you can put this on there is a pair for that um, there's another one on to the other side and there's a hollow part right there and basically it's for this this shoot out some kind of a eh, it's not when you start but it's like a disc um, you, there is an attachment here it's kind of too big for it too they should have just made the holder a little bit bigger but uh, you attach it on a stand and that's kind of like its effect part shooting out this disc I'm not too fond of that design <laughs> I'm gonna leave that out I would rather have him uh, just wield his weapon now for the weapon let me just uh, get this uh, situated uh, grab a stand here somewhere I think I will go with this one I'll peg that in actually I did, I did post this on my Facebook or somewhere in one of the groups in Facebook where I did that mod and everything was great but I was removing that peg connection and I snapped it <laughs> oh boy um, if that ever happened to you so this is uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna be shown but uh, yeah this peg uh, did snap on me and what I did is basically a drilled hole um, onto the peg and to the bottom here not enough you can kind of see it just not close enough to the screw here but uh, that's what I did and I added like a paper clip in there basically a metal rod for support uh, while adding super glue and that way um, it's back the way it is and still functional so I guess uh, in a way I got lucky there. I was able to fix that bank connection, and there we go. Use it again. Hopefully it doesn't snap, <laughs> but it shouldn't. Uh, it has a metal rod there for support. So uh, be careful as you move this around. Um, yeah, make sure that uh, it's, that screw is not too tight. Otherwise, you do have that uh, tendency to pop. All right. So uh, putting this on here. There we go. Um, next part, the weapon, the lance. Now this is huge. It's, it's almost as tall as the Kimaris. Not to mention you have this handle here. Now I believe it does shoot out like lasers here. Kinda looks like the... What is that suit again uh, from uh, Double O? Ah. It eludes me not right now, but it has like the four eyes. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you got this uh, lens, um, and it just connects here. A uh, fun part on this one is trying to put it on this particular hand. Um, there is no other, uh, you cannot remove this part. I wish this part here is detachable, but as you can see how it's, yeah, there's no way they, they put a peg there. So unfortunately, you're going to have a fun time putting this on, as always. So I guess you just go here and kind of roll roll this around. Just have to clear that. Yeah, I mean, not to mention he has that uh, long nails. That doesn't really help, but I just hope it doesn't snap or something on me. There we go. Rolling it the wrong way, but anyways... You'll get it in there eventually or somehow just be careful and we're gonna connect this but uh, first off let's connect this first and that's a lot easier to do pop this out there we go oops make sure you have a fairly good grip on that uh, forearm pop this out there we go on the other hand there we go I do like that uh, pointy fingers. He's kind of like an antagonist in the show. So having no pointy fingers does kind of reflect that it's evil. <laughs> in a way. Alright, so this does have some weight on it. So there might be a possible weight issue with this depending on how good your joint is. But uh, hopefully it will hold. Yeah, you can kind of see gravity is taking effect. But 
you know, there we go. Uh, put the booster back on here. And there we go. We got our Robot Spirits Gundam Kimaris with the booster mod. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely a really cool uh, robot machine that is overlooked just because uh, it's missing that backpack. I think if they've included the backpack, it would have been a great release. Or even better yet, uh, you have the trooper add on that you can just uh, swap out the legs. Yeah, I think that would have been great. I mean, this little backpack here, I think this is what's supposed to be on the trooper. <laughs> well, I have yet uh, to review the show, but yeah, unfortunately, that, that it is what it is. But again, you can uh, definitely mod your uh, Gundam Kimaris um, as I shown here. You just have to buy the high grade add on. I think that one's probably about 10 15 bucks. It's not that expensive. And yeah, it's definitely worth doing, if you, especially if you like the this particular design. And what's up? Oh, I think I'm hitting the back there. There we go. All right. So, anyways, that's it. If you got questions, uh, let me know. And that's about it. So, until then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching.